One city litter on the first coast is surprised to see so few people wearing face coverings. So she is suggesting selling individual masks to tourists. Jessica Clark explains that and she also spoke with people about why they choose to wear masks right now or they choose not to. Yeah, I do a morning walk. St. Augustine City Commissioner Roxanne Horvath wears a face mask when she leaves her house now. And so few people are wearing masks that it seemed to me it's a problem. So and she is suggesting the city consider selling individual face masks to tourists. Get a reasonable rate. Possibly near the visitor information center and parking garage downtown. First Coast News has also noticed very few people wear masks downtown. The CDC recommends people wear face coverings in public places to stop the spread of COVID-19. Research also shows masks help. So we asked people why they choose not to wear masks. When I wear a mask, constantly it tends to cause headaches. When you have to wear glasses all the time, then it fogs up the glasses. The places around me I haven't seen any for sale, but at the same time, like he said, we're kind of Just over it. Others who did not want to go on camera told me they don't wear masks because they don't want to. They think it's media propaganda and they'd wear masks around sick people. But sometimes it's not always evident who is vulnerable, like this woman who just had an organ transplant or even the city manager. I, have, I take a blood pressure medicine that makes makes uh, opens up a receptor to COVID if I were to contract it. All of the research is showing, you know, we can really reduce any kind of uh, reoccurrence if we would all wear masks. And I know some people don't think it's a good thing to do, but the research really proves it. Currently, the city of St. Augustine sells face masks to business owners for 50 cents a piece. No word how much they would cost if sold directly to visitors downtown, but the city commissioner says certainly it would cost less than an ice cream cone. And would be better for you. <laughs> In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.